Thank you very much to choose to like be here this like evening to spend it uh, together. Okay, let's uh, like do something that uh, it is it can be helpful uh, for everybody for us. So we are going to talk about like data processing, and uh, I'm like. Uh, I'm doing research uh, with uh, speech recognition, speech processing, natural language processing. And uh, of course, as <coughs> many like data scientists, I am doing many like speech processing things. And uh, so I would like to share how, how we are doing it. And uh, so uh, we prepare some uh, open source framework for this. And uh, so I'm just, uh, uh, briefly remind you what is like a neural network uh, training cycle and uh, overview uh, our open source speech data processor we call it is like this and uh, in, uh, during this I will talk about how to do text normalization using like uh, rule based text normalization and uh, like uh, give some uh, like basic examples how to do data processing with uh, our predefined classes like base processor and base parallel processor. Okay, and uh, by the way, if you have any questions, like please do not hesitate. Maybe it could be more uh, vivid life, <laughs> maybe more interactive. <clears throat> okay. Great. So, uh, training cycle, uh, just to remind you that's uh, what we usually do when we want to train our model. So we need to get data, right? So it comes from uh, open uh, internet, or maybe it comes from uh, your internal uh, server logs, uh, and uh, you take data, you need to label it, you need to clean it somehow, remove some trash, duplicates, and so on. Then, <clears throat> if you have text, uh, you usually take, uh, do text normalization. I will take, talk about it a little bit later. And uh, once it is done, uh, you can do model training, then model inference, uh, some, some kind of evaluation, interpretation of the results, and finally, uh, like, some post-processing and as you can see uh, almost uh, each of the step about data processing and it is usually like if you try to do like unsystematically it will be kind of mess on your computer and uh, uh, this is a kind of motivation why we prepare this uh, uh, open source uh, framework and uh, this is about like uh, uh, bigger open source it's about Nemo uh, so uh, data speech data process is a part of uh, big Nemo project uh, it is basically uh, uh, based like based on PyTorch and PyTorch Lightning uh, so we have a, a collection of models uh, like speech recognition, uh, natural language processing, and speech synthesis. And uh, it, of course, supports uh, GPU, multi-node training, and uh, uh, multi-CPU parallelization. And, uh, and it is open source. And uh, it is like fully open source, because uh, uh, maybe you know uh, some open source project only for research purpose, but our uh, uh, projects uh, for uh, commercial purposes uh, as well. No. So uh, if you don't know about it, please just uh, do pip install, Nemo toolkit, and you can work with it. And uh, so uh, let's move on to speech data processor. So we believe that we can like uh, minimize the amount of bullet plate code required and share processor steps, how we, how we are doing it. Let's see. So uh, we organize this framework as uh, uh, 
like uh, Python uh, toolkits with uh, uh, YAML config, like uh, this, and uh, like YAML config is uh, uh, have like central place of this uh, uh, framework. So you uh, can specify a, a list of uh, processors and uh, each uh, processor has uh, parameters and uh, uh, like this. And uh, you can run it as uh, like bash command. So it is like even like bash because uh, it's, uh, you know, it takes time. So when you process uh, like big data set, it usually like takes uh, not one minute, maybe hours uh, or days. So it is quite convenient to run it in some Tmux or screen, right? <coughs> uh, okay. Uh, in this project, we already uh, have uh, uh, quite many processors to prepare it. Prepare it, uh, uh, for instance, uh, regaps substitution, like drop. Uh, some lines and uh, so on. Uh, I just listed here and I'm going to explain some uh, in details a little bit, but uh, just let you know that uh, I already prepared like blocks inside. And uh, of course you can prepare yourself uh, some processor because uh, uh, it's like it's extendable open source and uh, it uh, could be based on base processor, like you can inherit and base parallel processor. I, I will also talk about it a little bit more in details, but uh, okay, just let you know for now. Um, let's uh, uh, look to it uh, in uh, like, let's take an example as text normalization. And uh, we already have sub regex per processor and uh, uh, to remind you what is text normalization. So uh, it is a process when you work with text and uh, once you have uh, automatic speech recognition system, uh, you will have like kind of uh, letters and uh, usually people uh, prefer this representation with numbers, right? With uh, special symbols as door and so on. Right, it is easier to understand for us, and this is like uh, less uh, symbols needed, right? And uh, this is text normalization. Of course, you if you do uh, text to speech translation, you need to do a reverse task, and uh, also uh, we support kind of audio-based text normalization. Um, um, like for this task, we even have uh, like a special uh, project on GitHub, Nemo Text Processing, and uh, it sup already uh, supports uh, a lot of uh, languages, uh, but unfortunately it uh, doesn't support Armenian language, but uh, we uh, uh, hope that it will change. We will try <coughs> to... Uh, do uh, some work on it and uh, you're welcome to contribute as well of course to open source and uh, uh, what i want to show here that uh, we can use already prepare a sub regex processor and uh, specify a list of parameters and which can do this kind of re uh, text normalization uh, Okay, okay, let's take, uh, where is my cursor? Uh, let's take a semicolon, uh, probably for uh, text-to-speech, uh, you want to substitute into like just a dot, right? For symbol one, you want to, in Armenia, this is Mac, right? Ooh. <laughs> and, uh, and so on. And uh, 
uh, with uh, rules, uh, you also can specify test cases. I like find it very useful. So uh, you can put text as input and uh, how output should be, right? And uh, it will check, like it will, it will run this test and uh, it is, and it will, it, if it is fail, it will tell you, right? Something wrong, you need to change your rules. This is uh, already uh, prepared subreg exp. And so, uh, uh -huh. is running tests before uh, running pipeline on the whole data? Or it is during, during, uh, during pi pipeline, yes. So, uh, okay, I, I will show you. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, we already support uh, a lot of uh, data sets and uh, even support like Lotsi. Uh, framework, which also have, has some, and I, I, I'm going to use a Mozilla Common Voice because it uh, has uh, Armenian part. I, I would like to use it today, and it, it's quite small. It is about uh, five hours, and we are going to extend it. Basically, we with uh, our partner universities, we're going to. Uh, create events to encourage people to contribute their Armenian speech to like open platform. It is also uh, open sourced platform. Uh, okay, uh, this is the uh, Armenian part. I uh, and this is how uh, data represent in our framework. It is a list of uh, oh sorry something wrong. This should be this should be slash n as well, so it's just new line, you know. Uh, this is a JSON format, right? And you have key value structure, and you have audio path, and you have duration of this uh, audio and text. This is a text from Mozilla Common Voice, uh, and uh, then another JSON and so on. This is how looks like, and in Mozilla, it, they use uh, MP3 uh, audio formats and uh, to make it to, like you just need to install some more libraries for MP3 support. Uh, this is how uh, pipeline usually looks like. So uh, uh, you have like initial manifests, uh, Create, like create initial manifest uh, processor, and then I implemented ASR, like automatic speech recognition, using Whisper model. It's from uh, Hugging Face uh, website. And then I just filter some using word error rate and character error rate, uh, using drop high WER, drop high CER, right, <coughs> processor. Okay. Um, you can check it out on uh, our GitHub. Okay, uh, how I, uh, how can you run uh, like uh, ASR processor? Like for this, uh, uh, you can uh, inherit base processor class, and uh, you just need to implement constructor, right? Init and process. That's it. And uh, in uh, YAML config, you need to specify like value of parameters of constructor. Like in our case, what is it? It is a pre-trained model and the output text field, right? So we have name of a whisper model. They have, they have about four models, I believe, for now available. And I used like a largest one, like V2 model. And the uh, output I uh, save to pre-text, like predicted text uh, field. Uh, that's it. And uh, this is output manifest just come from inherited base processor, right? I am not implemented. Then a uh, simple example with process uh, function. Uh, I just load manifest file as a JSON list. Uh, as I show you before, and uh, then I just make sure to uh, that's a folder 
where I save manifest uh, exists, right? I, I check it out. And if it is already exists, it's okay. Uh, and then I <coughs> iterate over a list of JSON and uh, each uh, audio file path I put into whisper infer function and it returns me uh, pred text and pred lang. It is basically predicted text and predicted language. It is like language in our case it is HY, like Armenian Y uh, language. Uh, and uh, that's it. I just save it as a uh, dic dictionary, like with uh, key value output text field. And uh, that's it. Just JSON dumped and write it to the output manifest file. Is it clear enough? Great. This is basically what we can do with uh, uh, this uh, uh, like uh, GPU support. It's uh, quite simple. And then we just need to uh, do post-processing with uh, drop high order or rate and high character error rate. It's basically some metrics uh, for speech recognition. I will not talk about it today, but ho hope it's just some error metric. Uh, okay. Uh, next, uh, let me tell you like uh, base parallel processor. I find it very useful as well. And because it is parallelized on like many CPUs and uh, uh, what you need to uh, implement is uh, actually process data entry. It is for one uh, sample uh, of data and uh, uh, you might uh, redefine uh, prepare and uh, read manifest. So prepare it is before like parallel jobs, right? And read manifest also before. Okay. Uh, for this, I, I, I took um, also Armenian data, and uh, it was uh, audio books. It is uh, like a, a website when you can, uh, f like, it is free for you to listen audio books in the Armenian language, right? And uh, I downloaded uh, it and uh, process. So I create uh, examples like uh, create initial manifest by extension by ext, and then uh, <coughs> convert using FFmpeg uh, library to uh, WAF format from uh, MP3, then uh, count audio duration, then run uh, uh, speech recognition using Whisper as I just showed you, right? And then uh, make a lower case because the whisper returns you uh, like uppercase and, uh, and other symbols like dots, commas, and drop no alphabetic and uh, just some regexp for uh, text normalization. Okay, let's uh, move to uh, Python actually, right? Python code. We have Python meeting today, right? <laughs> Sorry for... Uh, for codes. <laughs> uh, by the way, let me uh, take a break and ask you how many people work uh, with, uh, uh, with, uh, uh, I, I believe everybody works with Python, but uh, how many people works with speech data? I do. And, uh, wow, it's quite cool. So I will say it's half of the audience. <laughs> Great. <coughs> okay. Uh, uh, let's continue. Uh, so, we want to implement uh, process data entry for create initial manifest by extension. Okay. So, what we need to take? We need to take a path to the folder when we will find uh, files with uh, extensions, right? Okay. We have raw data zero for this. And also we want to have output field to save a source like path to the file, right? And also we want to have extension, which we 
uh, we'll, for, we'll find this kind of function. Okay, I, uh, and uh, I'm going to skip prepare function. I'm going to uh, <coughs> define read manifest and I'm going to define process data entry. Okay, let's look at it. So read manifest. Uh, we need to uh, find some uh, fo any files with this extension, right? It's quite simple. And then we iterate over it and uh, like add uh, path to it and uh, take as input files, we have a list of files. That's it, and just return list of files. Once we return it, uh, we ready to run like uh, parallelized jobs. And uh, this function uh, will take uh, one, one sample from this list, just one sample. And uh, okay, we take this uh, data entry in our case, it will be buff to the file and uh, save it as a dic dictionary and dictionary like return as a like needed format data entry uh, type. Uh, that's basically it. Quite simple. And uh, it's nice to have it. It, 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 is, it works it works quite. Mm -hmm. The second method process that the entry is for like defining the parallel work or, or work. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, how you what data entry? I can assume that there's some custom class. Yes, from your side. From Pro process data, data entry. Oh, the, uh, data, da data entry class. I mean. Data and yes. Yeah. So uh, how it paralyzed, like it's used native uh, Python traits or processes or, or yeah, it's C, C level? Yeah, processes. Processes. Python process. So it should be quite heavy because you up uh, as many processes as data entry you have. Oh, I believe in processor you can specify do you, which, which do you want to thread or processors. So. Now, if it's thread in terms of Python, it shouldn't work like parallel. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in terms of process, it, it should. But the problem is that that pro processes is very heavy. So like you ha can uh, have a lot of process with their own threads. It should be very heavy. Well, I'm just interested if it's thread like the C-level thread, it's another uh, deal. I believe it is support uh, library. Subprocess library. Yes. Oh, okay. It is open source, so you can check it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, but as I remember, it is it. Is it. Yeah. Okay. And um, yes, if you know how to speed up, it's like you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> to contribute okay, to make thanks. a PR. For thank you. <laughs> thank you for the question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. It's great to have a kind of conversation. Okay, uh, we create uh, initial manifest and uh, we go in, oh, I'm going to skip uh, FFmpeg convert because it's uh, quite boring. We just run FFmpeg as a process and uh, <coughs> going to talk about audio duration. So um, <coughs> uh, I want to so count audio duration. I already have uh, audio file path from previous processor. I want to count duration. And that's it. So maybe just specify audio output uh, manifest file. And uh, I'm, I also want to implement prepare. And uh, uh, I here I also check if uh, path, like if uh, uh, folder of output manifest e exists, right? If it is not, uh, then I create it. And uh, I'm going to skip read manifest because it is inherited by uh, uh, from base parallel processor. Uh, and mm -hmm. maybe, maybe I missed the part why the uh, file duration is uh, we keep the uh, why the file duration is important here. Why we keep it mm. like uh, additional field. Well, this is uh, how it is implemented in our NIM open source, and we. 
Well, we, we use these fields to define, like to, to understand how, how, how long our process uh, will take time. I mean, it is a like long file. We need to split it up, for, for instance. Ah, like how many parts do you need to split it? Well, this is duration uh, in, in seconds, yeah. And uh, once you have uh, like one hour file, you cannot uh, put it directly to uh, GPU. Like to split to you need batches. To, yes, you have uh, to. I see. And if it is small, yeah, you can. Uh, okay. okay. So, so we uh, want to uh, implement uh, uh, process data entry. So we take <coughs> uh, uh, we take dictionary as input, uh, data entry, take uh, input field, it, will, it is audio file path, and uh, <coughs> read this file using sound file library, and we take data and sample rate, and to define, to count uh, duration in seconds, we need to take shape and uh, like divide it to sample rate. And like that's it, right? And sometimes uh, there is missing files. Sometimes it is broken files, and so on. We need to try accept, uh, and uh, okay, we return again, return data entry, and it is parallelized. Okay, that's basically about it. I'm already explained this uh, pi pipeline. <coughs> oh. And uh, uh, once we uh, count it, we might want to vis visualize and uh, understand what uh, results we get. And uh, we can uh, use our like tool, we call it Data Explorer, like Speech Data Explorer, and uh, just uh, some web interface. And uh, <coughs> okay, like you can run it like this to specify manifest. And uh, uh, using this table, you can uh, like use this filter line to like put some value, like sort it by value, you know, filter out and so on. It's uh, quite useful and uh, choose uh, like um, file, like check uh, num like which kind of uh, words correctly recognized and maybe correctly labeled. Yeah, sometimes it's correctly recognized, but incorrectly labeled and or reverse, you know. Uh, so, let's uh, conclude. So we just talk about uh, a neural network cycle and uh, like, <clears throat> big part of this cycle is uh, like data processing. And we overview uh, like our speech data processor uh, library. Uh, it is open source, it is a part of uh, Nemo uh, toolkit. And uh, we uh, uh, talked about uh, text normalization and how we can do it using uh, rule-based uh, regexp uh, uh, rules. Um, uh, explore base processor for GPU inference uh, uh, with Whisper model and uh, base uh, inherit base parallel processor for other CPU parallelized tasks. Okay, and uh, so by writing processor for speech data processor, we minimize amount of uh, like template code, right? Because uh, we need to only implement one and just use it in uh, as cases uh, by uh, readable YAML. We share uh, the steps for processing speech data set and uh, by using like uh, GPU support or CPU parallelized jobs, we can speed up. And just to remind you that it is a part of like big uh, Nemo uh, project, and uh, we have uh, like large language models, like famous for today, and like automatic speech recognitions and uh, other parts. And uh, it is uh, open for commercial purposes. And uh, um, 
uh, you as a developers, welcome to contribute if you find some, I don't know, bugs or want to have some feature in our project. Thank you for your time. Are you familiar with the uh, NEMO tool, a CTC segmentation for data processing? Okay. Oh, I'm familiar with some of CTC segmentation tools. Yes. Um, I tried to use that tool and I tried to integrate it with uh, my data processing pipeline and uh, I found it like the boilerplate code was very like messy and hard to uh, optimize it with this kind of flow. Um, do you, you know what I'm... Are you talking so about NEMO? Uh, yes, NEMO. NEMO. Uh, there it's is a uh, NFA, tool like to... NEMO. CTC, it's called CTC segmentation uh, tool for like if you have an audio, uh, like one hour audio mm -hmm. and big text, you need to split it up uh, to little segments and yeah, yeah. you need to uh, connect it with the right text segment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have two implementations. We have uh, like, uh, like old and new one. And uh, let's uh, take uh, contact and uh, let's... Mm. My question was, do you think that kind of tool would be easy to integrate with this pipeline? I because believe it, it is already in, in integrated. Because uh, the developer who creates a speech data processor, Yelena, is the same who did uh, uh, Nemo Force Aligner too. But uh, as I understand, you did not use uh, Nemo Force Aligner. You did... Like, Force Aligner? Nemo Force. Force like, Aligner. Nemo Force, yeah. So Nemo Force Aligner is a new version of uh, CTC segmentation tool. You okay. can check it out. I will, thank you. Uh, you mentioned that uh, this tool is based on uh, PyTorch, yeah? Under the hood. Uh, what about the performance? Uh, is it just a tool that helps with, uh, with uh, just a boilerplate code or there is something, some optimization uh, besides that? Uh, are you asking about speech data processor or NEMO? Uh, about uh, both of them. Uh, okay. Uh, speech data processor is uh, just a wrapper. It's not have, don't have, it's, uh, can optimize. It's quite you can do it can do parallelized job for you uh, and uh, not optimize anything. And uh, for NEMO, uh, it is also based on. Uh, uh, PyTorch Lightning, it's, uh, and it is basically two kits uh, for production, uh, speech uh, uh, training and processing, and uh, it is uh, not optimized. Uh, it is rely on PyTorch, really. It, uh, I believe uh, all comes from it, but it has uh, useful features uh, for production part of it, like I don't know. Uh, text normalization, right? It's kind Thank of this. You. you were talking about uh, uh, splitting uh, large audio chunks uh, into more smaller ones. And in this procedure, do you use some advanced uh, methods, e.g. voice activity detection or just cut it in uh, fixed length or maybe another method? So, if uh, we are talking about uh, NEMO force aligner uh, parts, so it is uh, not very familiar with it, but as I understand it, uh, it's a kind of uh, algorithm, like a, a popular algor algorithm uh, when, which used to uh, used uh, in uh, like Hayden Markov model uh, parts of it, and it takes probabilities from uh, uh, outputs of neural network like CTC uh, loss function or maybe RNNT loss function and utilize these probabilities 
to for uh, in that algorithm and like trying to come find like best uh, ali alignments over over segments. Okay, if I understood correctly, you run some kind of VTB alignment and find the starts and the ends of an every word and then cut the large audio chunk into smaller ones. Yes, and for VTB use the uh, output of neural network. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, my question is, uh, do we have ability to choose the model size? Like, is it uh, made in YOLO, for example, or it's fixed size and to and then we have to have according hardware to run it. Mm -hmm. What is the, I mean, um, Okay, if uh, you want to t create uh, some model from scratch, and you can choose, definitely. So it is uh, actually implemented also as YAML file, and you can specify which kind of layer in neural network you want, and number of layers, number of like uh, blocks in this layer and so on and uh, this is how you can set it up okay yeah but once uh, you use pre-trained model it's like up to creators yeah, that's clear. yeah. Okay. Thanks. i didn't mention that uh, here is a link to telegram and it is our local community and we are going to uh, publish some uh, events there and uh, next event, we want to have uh, about uh, Armenian speech collection. And uh, like everybody is welcome to participate and contribute your voice to make it larger, to make it easier for developers to create speech uh, recognition system in Armenian language. Right. Yes. What specifically do you work on in NVIDIA? What kind of project uh, are you like? Okay. Yeah, I, currently I uh, so I'm doing uh, like speech uh, recognition uh, things uh, like uh, train some speech recognition models like fast conformer uh, last models from us. It uh, like you know it supports many languages and I trained one of language from, from 10, yeah. So this is my part. Also, we have uh, Ivan, he's working on large language model, and uh, here I also have, can address some questions. But yeah, I believe I'm quite familiar with many parts, and even I can help to find some person who can answer advanced question from you. Thank you.